Absolutely, you. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, we are in Riola. It's a little village in the province of Bologna. Okay. And uh, this is the only church built in Italy from uh, by Alvaralto. But uh, he did a lot of projects who, uh, that uh, he couldn't uh, realize in Italy for many reasons and this is the only one he, he realized but uh, he wasn't alive when uh, we built this church okay you know and uh, why is this church here in Riola is because of uh, mainly for the cardinal Lercaro Giacomo Lercaro who was the cardinal in Bologna in the 50s 60s 1950-60 and uh, he wanted uh, new churches for Bologna in the surroundings of Bologna because after the war the population has grown and there isn't church so in the beginning they went uh, to the to the people with um, uh, like this uh, Churches, and uh, he wanted also famous uh, architects uh, like Le Corbusier, Can Tange, I, 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 um, and uh, Alvaralto. Uh, and this uh, new architect, uh, young architect in Bologna, uh, take contact with uh, uh, Alvaralto, and uh, with a little car from Bologna, they went. Uh, Finland, through Germany, Denmark, I don't know, and uh, they, um, they arrived and he was in his uh, holiday home, I think, in his holiday house. And uh, he was very friendly, he spoke with them and they uh, began starting this uh, relation. Then, in the 1965, Alvaralto came in Italy um, to present, to stay in a, uh, an exhibition of his works and uh, in, in Florence, it was in Florence, uh, the cardinal who was in Rome and uh, it was uh, concluding, was finishing the uh, Council Vatican II, okay, uh, it was returning to Bologna and he passes through Florence and he meet for the first time he met uh, uh, Alvaralto and then they arrange to start this project then Alvaralto came here in the 1966 uh, in January it was very cold and we have still people who remember was there on that uh, occasion and uh, he um, so, because he told to the cardinal that he don't, didn't want to uh, create something for Bologna, for the surrounding of Bologna, but he, was something, he wanted something in the nature, uh, far from the city, okay? And uh, uh, the Bologna uh, church chose Riola because he was a a little village but it was growing and there was a, a little church who is uh, mm, far from here it was not in the center mm -hmm. and uh, we also had uh, some money for the um, uh, damages of the world after the war okay so with this uh, 
um, reasons, uh, Alvaralto won, um, um, so won, uh, went here. Uh, there was a field here. There were nothing here. Okay, so he saw the the place and he um, he said that it was okay, and he started right uh, to draw. And uh, there is a legend. We don't know if it's uh, right, but he took a little box and he started drawing something in this box. It was the first uh, uh, rough <laughs> of the facade of the Secret church. Box. Yes, yes, yes. You know everything. So <laughs> <laughs> then uh, he. Started the, the, the project, but uh, in Riola it, and in Bologna uh, it changes the situation. Lercaro was, um, uh, I don't know how to say, but uh, he was no more the cardinal, and the other cardinal uh, stopped all the works that, Alva, that uh, Lercaro did and uh, began. So he um, and the church was one of that, was one of this uh, uh, project. And um, we, uh, it, it has uh, passed uh, 10 years, more or less, and uh, for some uh, good situation, we had, for example, one of the citizens of Riola had uh, a firm, an industry, and uh, he uh, told to the priest, to our priest in that period, that uh, he will do the, the work only with the money they had. The other money he will put uh, himself. And they went to Bologna and they told to the cardinal that uh, it was not uh, more possible to delay mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, it, they started uh, in 76, uh, 76 uh, in January, uh, no, uh, yes, 76. They started the, um, constructing, building the church, uh, but uh, in 76 uh, uh, Alvaralto died, mm -hmm. died yeah, and also Yes, uh, in the 78 uh, uh, it was finished, yeah. but uh, um, his um, architects uh, of his uh, study and his uh, wife too, they follow the construction and Elisa Alto went uh, here to, to see the first, uh, uh, the opening of the, of the church. Okay. And uh, the church had to be larger, bigger, and uh, they had to build also here, but this part is uh, um, of the municipality, okay? And they wanted to take this part uh, for uh, them, okay? So they reduced the, the project, yeah. and uh, now it's, uh, it's there like this okay in the here we built uh, the different part because uh, we hadn't the money to build everything because the project was very uh, big and uh, it, there was also a school and also a home for uh, old people but those parts are aren't uh, wasn't uh, weren't uh, built okay and uh, we had also the church, the tower bell, uh, the porch. Uh, these are um, rooms that begins to uh, that belongs to the, the church and the parish to do, for example, um, catechism. Okay, and the, the house of the priest. Okay, so then we can do. Uh, a tour outside or inside as you want, before inside and then outside as you want, uh, to see what is uh, the project. Uh, okay. If you want to ask me some more, something more, or if you want to.
perspective. I can describe something about the church, okay? This is not a traditional church. In Italy, we are not <laughs> used to <laughs> that uh, kind of churches. Uh, it's not uh, uh, symmetric, okay? This is uh, uh, very new things for the churches. And uh, also um, the um, uh, windows are shed and uh, this kind of window it was uh, of the industrial art, uh, industrial construction and uh, Alvaralto used uh, industrial uh, elements inside uh, his uh, construction even if they were um, religious. Okay, it's so it's a local construction company with the, uh, the concrete elements that were used in this one. Yes, uh, yes, it was. They were the uh, they were in uh, Sasso Marconi Contecchio. It is near where you go outside from the highway. In, in that uh, village, in that area, there was this uh, uh, drove industry. By. Yes, they went here with. Uh, uh, truck, I don't know how to say truck, and they built everything there, um, elements, and then they put here and put together here. Okay. Uh, and uh, the stone, it's local stone. They used local stone to the facade for the facade. Uh, inside, we have uh, marble from Tuscany. And we have, I don't know how to say cotto, the, uh, I don't know, uh, maybe after I remember, uh, the kind of uh, tile they put. Uh, the floor. Yes, but the kind, uh, the, the type of material, uh, it's uh, red, we, we say it cotto. Okay, I don't know in English. Um, okay. In Alvaralto was also a designer and he designed uh, all the um, elements, for example the lamp, torch, I don't know what to say, uh, the handle of the door, okay, uh, the form of the benches inside, um, lamp and also chair. Um, we had also um, Oh, what? Always when possible. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. And uh, we had uh, three, maybe three or four, um, to put flower, uh, base. glasses, vase, yes. But uh, someone has been stolen because oh. they knew it was Alvaralto who designed it. <laughs> yes. So uh, before we put it in the church, but after we leave it and we add, uh, we add uh, in another part, we, we add, they aren't in the church. Which is also quite, quite spectacular, it's like a, a lot of those water. Oh, yes. And this is a yes, church. yes, 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 rare, yes, 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 it's very <laughs> rare. And uh, Lercaro um, uh, didn't uh, thought it was a problem. They give to uh, the, the group of Alvaralto all the information that has to be in a Catholic church. But for example, they didn't, at the beginning, they didn't uh, draw, design the uh, confessionals. Because uh, in the Lutheran church, uh, the religion there is the confession. Uh, but after, they, they did it. Okay. And um, it's very um, interesting how different religion, Christian religion, are inside this church because he was Lutheran. The cross is without uh, Christ. In Italy, normally we have the cross with Christ suffering, dying. Okay, and uh, also uh, there is we, we can go inside if you want. There is also a uh, Orthodox uh, um, images of the um, Mary, Saint Mary, and this is uh, for me. It's uh, um, 
an important element because there are all the three uh, Christian and yes, religions. But as I have understood from the, uh, also the statements of Ivan Palosman, who is a, an architect and a professor and a, and a theoretician, he said that it was very important for our world to uh, have an existentialist uh, view. Yes. Yes. In fact, uh, it was. Uh, it is um, in the mind of Alvaralto. He wanted to accompany the man from birth to death, and uh, inside the church, it, it was possible. But we didn't realize it. It was possible to um, close the middle of the church to use a part of the church to do assembly, to do reunions for people uh, that doesn't uh, uh, are uh, religious, uh, yes.